Hello guys, this is the third problem from, from your homework. So the allowable normal stress for member BC is sigma equals 29 KSI and the allowable shear stress for the pins is tau equals 10 KSI. So we have three questions. Determine the required thickness of member BC, the required diameter of pin A and the required diameter of pin B. So I will start with my free body diagram starting at point B and going all the way until point A. So for B I have a force that is 60 degrees. I, I'm dashing because I will uh, find the components. So to find the components I know in Y direction I have ten BC times sine of 60 and then in Y direction in X direction I have TBC equals TBC times cosine of 60. For A I have AY and here I have AX and then from my uniform distribution, I'll find my equivalent load. I know it, the area, so my required load P equals 2, that's the, the load, times 8, that's the length of my beam. So my P equals 16 KIP. So since it's a uh, beam, you're gonna find like right in the middle of the beam. So pointing down 16 So now I'm gonna find my uh, forces BC and then A. So I will start. So I'm gonna find the force in B and force in A. So I will start doing the sum of momentums around A counterclockwise is positive equals zero. So my 16 KIP is doing a momentum counterclockwise. So I have 16, that's my force times four, that's my distance. And then my BC in Y direction, it's doing a clockwise so it's minus I call TBC even though it's not a tension times sine of 60 times my distance is 8 equals 0 so I have my forcing BC times 60 sine of 60 equals 16 times 4 over 8 so I know my tension BC times sine of 60 equals 8. So my tension BC equals 9.24 KIP. Now I know that the sum of forces in x directions equals zero. So I have TBC times cosine of 60 minus AX equals zero. So I know my AX equals 4.62 KIP. And then I have the sum of forces in y direction equals zero. I have TBC times sine of 60 plus AY minus 16 equals zero. So I have AY equals 8KIP. So to find my force in A, I have A squared equals 
ax square plus ay square so i know my a equals 9.24 kip so our next slide we're going to answer the questions a b and c so for a required the thickness of member bc so here we have our member that is a rectangular member and my force bc is coming here so i know that's my maximum allowable stress equals the force bc over the area so i know my area will be the force over my stress so i know my area will be 9.24 kip over 29 ksi so my area will be 0.319 inches square but i know that my area is my thickness that i don't know times 1.5 equals 0 0.319 so my thickness of the member bc will be 0 0.319 divided by 1.5 thickness equals 0 0.212 inches for b we can recall from the previous previous exercise that first i have a single shear stress because of the image here in a and i know my shear stress is equals the reaction in a that i call ar over the area so i know my area is a pin so is my a reaction over my maximum shear stress my area is pi over four times diameter square equals my reaction 9.24 over 10 so in this equation i have my diameter equals 1.09 inches and finally my uh, required diameter for pin b note that i don't have a single shear stress here i have a double one because of the figure so i know for my double shear stress I have shear stress equals two times sorry I have my uh, reaction in BC over two times the area so my two, uh, two times the area will be my reaction BC over tau so I have my area is pi over 4 times d square equals 9.24 over 2 times 10 so in this equation i have my diameter for b is 0 0.767 inches